man, do I need to warm up, right? That's what players ask all the time. Do I need to warm up? Warming up sucks. You know, do you need to warm up for your workouts? Do you need to warm up for games? Do you need to warm up for practices? So that's what I'm going to answer today and ask 24-7 hockey. Here's the deal, all right? You have to think about warming up a couple different ways. One, it's preparation. So as you're warming up, you should be mentally preparing yourself. If it's a workout, mentally preparing yourself for this workout. Think about what you're gonna be doing. Think about the type of intensity that you're gonna be attacking the workout with. If it's a practice or a game, be mentally preparing yourself for the practice or the game. Be thinking about that. So it's part of the mental preparation process when you're warming up. And that way, when you actually get into the workout or you get into the practice, you get into the game, you're ready to go immediately, okay, immediately. And now, when you get to higher and higher levels, your preparation needs to start a lot before that, okay? But specifically for workouts and practice, most players just show up, you know, do a little bit, have a half-ass warm-up, if anything, or think they're just going to warm up when they get on the ice, or think they're just going to warm up, you know, during their first exercises, you know, maybe doing a couple light sets as their warm-up. That's not good enough, all right? It's not good enough to prepare your body, and it's not good enough to prepare your mind to be able to attack with intensity. And that's really the key. Because if you're not out there attacking with intensity, somebody else is, and they're getting better than you. So if you want to have that edge, if you want to have that advantage, use your warm-up to not only warm up your body, spend five to 10 minutes, all right, moving, getting that body warmed up, working up a sweat, working on your mobility, and then, also be thinking about and preparing your mind to go through that practice or to go through that workout with intensity. And then when you get into a game, you're gonna be able to prepare for the games better because that's how you're preparing for your practices, right? A lot of times I see players all of a sudden they try to do some warm-up routine before the games and they wonder why they start slow in the first period. Well, it's because you're only doing it for games, okay? You have to do it every single time for practice. You have to do it every single time for Uh, your workouts and that way it becomes a habit it becomes a routine and you're preparing like it's game day every single day no matter what's going on so the game day is just another day it's just another day where you're attacking things with 100 percent intensity so that's one benefit of it the other benefit is use your warm-up constructively okay your warm-ups don't just have to be stretching and high knees and stuff like that sure you can do a little bit of that initially but do some quick feet and some footwork drills work on your quickness and agility do some stick handling okay some stationary stick handling or some movement stick handling because now you're getting your body warmed up you're getting your shoulders warmed up you're getting your hands warmed up and you're working on a skill so spend 15 minutes uh, doing some stick handling for part of your warm-up all right Start off nice and easy to warm up a little bit, even warm up your wrists and your shoulders, and then quicker and quicker, more intense, more intense, go through five or 10 drills, work on some weaknesses. If a toe pull is a weakness for you, spend 15 minutes working on a toe pull, okay? If you know a fake shot pulling to your backhand is a weakness for you, work on that. If controlling the puck with your top hand is a weakness, work on that. If looking down at the puck is the only thing you have trouble looking up and not looking down at the puck, work on that, all right? So you can work on these things and pretty soon they're gonna turn into your strengths because you're using your workout constructively. So you can work on quick feet, you can work on stick handling as well, spend 10 or 15 minutes doing that. Now every single day you're getting better and better in that thing, okay? And, and you're warming yourself up and you're preparing mentally and when you get into your workout, or you get into your practice, you're gonna be ready to go. and. When I started doing this as a player, it made all the difference in the world for me, all right? Because one, I was more prepared. Two, I was working on my weaknesses. And as other players saw me starting to improve in my weaknesses and starting to become, get into the games more prepared, get into the practices more prepared, attack it with a higher level of intensity, and my results were improving, I was getting better faster. Guess what? Pretty soon, I had guys right next to me doing the same thing before workouts. I had guys right next to me doing the same things before practices. All of a sudden, it was the popular thing to do, right? It was just me for the first few months. And then all of a sudden I got three or four other guys and teammates out there with me, which is fine. All right. But the point is, is don't feel weird because you're doing something that no one else is doing. All right. Doing something that no one else is doing means you're getting the advantage, means you're getting the edge. And that's what it's all about. So if you want some of these tips, if you want some of these workouts, if you want some of these stick handling warm-up routines, go to 247hockey.com, sign up for our free workout program, one week workout program at 247hockey.com. 
gymnastics.com and not only are you gonna learn to warm up the right way, but you're gonna increase the intensity of your training. You're gonna be implementing more hockey specific movements, more hockey specific training, and we give you a full workout where you can see exactly what you should be doing every single day with video breakdowns of every single drill. It's 247hockey.com. I hope this video helped you. Go out there and earn it.